everyone. Pastor Harris here, so glad that you're with me today for a word of encouragement. We are encouraging you here in the year 2022. All right, we're in the book of Psalms. In Psalms uh, 37 and verse 3, the word of God states, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. All right, this is one of these scriptures where God is telling us what we should do. Okay, and we, we talked about the importance of trusting him in the year 2022. So, if a haymaker comes at you, satanic attack, uh, physical things start coming against you. There's, there's uh, a surprise catastrophe that hits. All right, pump up the trust. All right, I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to believe that he is going to work behind the scenes to bring me through the worst case scenario. Amen. I'm going to trust in the Lord. And if right now everything is going good, everything is going smooth, which I hope it is, you take this and if you will, put it in your back pocket. <laughs> Hang on to this one. Just in case, sometime this year, you need big time trust. All right? In 40 years of ministry, there are times where, man, everything is great. There's other times, there's a little bit of, uh, just a small realm of trust I need to have. Then there's other times where I need big time trust. <laughs> okay? And so if that comes your way, this is what you want to do. You want to trust in the Lord. Also, it says to, to do good. It's important that you continue to do good. We talked about that last week. I want to focus now on the, the next part of this. God says, if you will trust in me, and you will continue to do good, God says that you will dwell in the land, and thou shalt be fed. All right. You're dwelling day by day. Good things are going to start rolling in. God says you will be fed. Spiritually, your relationship with him is going to thrive. Physically, your health, your well-being, your mental health, being happy, waking up in the morning, getting ready to start the day, and you're going, hey, all right, feeling good. Okay, free of heaviness, free of oppression, free of depression. These blessings where you will be fed in every realm of your life, this begins to take place as you trust in the Lord and you do good. Okay, happy is the man that is dwelling in the house of the Lord, doing good things, being an example of Christ. All right, and if you say, Pastor, my world is crazy, I can't do that. Well, let me say this. <clears throat> you got to start, okay? And it starts with trust in the Lord, all right? The next step is start doing good, doing good things, okay? It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to say hi to someone, <laughs> all right? It doesn't take a whole lot to speak, okay? Do good. Speak. Be courteous. Be kind. All right? Smile. Okay? Do good. Do good with your physical actions. Do good one towards another. Okay? In the midst of trial and test, you will move God greatly if you continue to do good for because, see, God looks at that and goes, wow, my, my son, my daughter there, they're going through a lot. But look at how nice and kind they're still being. Look how loving they're still being. In the midst of the storm in their own life, they are still walking in Jesus and demonstrating the love of Christ to other people. Let me help them because of what they're doing. And, and here, he tells you right here. If you will do this, okay, thou 
shall be failed. Stick with doing good. Stick with trusting in him. And eventually, you'll get your breakthrough. All right? Stick with trusting in him. Stick with doing good. Back uh, down in Portland, we used to have a saying, oh, so-and-so, they're just good people. They're, that, that's, that's good people. I still use that saying today here as a pastor. So also, you know, that family there, good people. Amen. All right, take this. I encourage you to apply it. You have a blessing.